Hey guys, it's Kim Crystal here and welcome back to another video. Today I'm super excited because I'm going to show you guys how to make this dream catcher with a crystal in the middle. It's a 3D crystal dream catcher and I'm going to show you guys exactly how to make it. First thing you're going to need to do is grab two large hoops and one smaller hoop. First up, I'm just going to wrap the hoop. I've got another video on my channel titled Dreamcatcher DIY Tutorial. It shows you exactly how to wrap the hoop. So you guys can check that out. And all I'm going to do now is just tie it together with the rope you can see on the bottom. You guys can use any type of material that is strong. I just cut it into strips and then I'm just going to glue the base of this first. So the crystal actually has a little platform to sit on. And of course you guys can use any type of crystal you would like. I'm using this heat treated titanium crystal, which I really like the colors and the light it reflects. So all I'm gonna do is glue down the base onto the platform. That's not gonna be enough to keep it stuck down onto the platform. So I'm also gonna add a bit of string. So just make sure with your string that it is a very strong string that it's not gonna snap. All I'm going to do is loop it around the crystal once and then wrap it around each side of the little platform I made and just make a double knot. I'm just gluing down the base of it so it doesn't slip. So I've just made sure this is really sturdy, I'm giving it a really good shake so it's not actually going to fall off. Now I'm going to secure the hoops. I'm going to take the same material that I cut up and I'm just going to glue it around and wrap it around in a cross shape just going back and forth making sure that it's nice and secure and then securing the base with a bit of glue so that it sticks on nicely. This will hold the two hoops together nice and firm so there's not going to be any movement. It's so important to make sure you do this part pretty tight. That's why you couldn't see it properly because I was just making sure it was made really tight and I'm going to do the same with the base. So as you can see all I've done is just wrap it around in a cross shape. So you go around on one side then you wrap it to the next and go around on the other. And then just glue it down. You guys can tie a knot as well. I just think gluing this bit makes it look a bit neater. Just make sure everything's nice and secure. So the next step is going to be to weave the web. I'm going to draw you guys a picture so it's a bit easier to actually visualize how to actually weave the web in this because it can get confusing but it's actually really simple. So the space in between here is kind of like an oval, so it's kind of like this. It's going to do a really rough thing. So say this is the top, like that, of this, and there's the bottom. All you're going to do is tie a knot with your thin string, so like with a really thin string, just tie the knot. Then all you're going to do is take the string, go over here, then you're going to loop it down and around and down and around, down and around, and around, and around. When you get to the bottom of this, I just made this, you're gonna take the string and you're gonna wrap it through this one's loop like that, just like that. And you're just gonna continue doing this all the way around till you get to the center. I'm just giving you a visualization of the movement you're going to make. When you're actually making this, you're going to pull it tight. So it's actually going to make a web, like a web look. I'll show you, but just remember, you always start there and then at the bottom one, you, you connect with it right here. So that's where you start your second. And then by the end of this one, you go through there, through there, through there, and just all the way around and just keep doing that until you reach about a center. I'm going to leave like a hole in the middle of it. So I'm just going to leave like a little peak hole going through. But the web's going to come all the way around here, all the way around. And then it's just going to stop and leave a peak hole. So I'll show you guys. If you guys know how to make dream catches really well, skip this step. You don't have to watch this. But yeah, no, it's super simple once you actually understand the principle of it. Actually show you how to weave the web. So we're just going to do it one part at a time. So we're just going to focus on between these two. We're not going to focus on doing these yet. We're just doing this one. So the way you do it is you take your thin string and a tie a knot right at the base and just do a double knot. And then you can always seal it with a bit of glue. It's really important when you make a dream catcher that the rope 
you use is very strong because you are going to be pulling on it and putting quite a bit of pressure. So I just snipped it short and I'm going to secure it with a bit of glue. This part's optional. A double knot should be sufficient. It should make it nice and secure. So all I'm doing is down, around and through. I'm going to do that again for you guys in slow motion so you guys can have a look. I'm just starting that one for the base. So let's go into our first loop. So it's around the base and then you go through it. So it's a very simple movement. It's the same as I drew that nice slow movement of going around. So it's down, around and through. You can go down and around or top and around. It doesn't matter as long as you go around and come through the loophole. So just make sure it comes through the loop and back up. And that's all you have to do all the way around. I'm going to show you when we get to the bottom what you guys can do as well. So I'm going to speed this up and you guys can do this one as well with me. A little tip I'll give you guys is to while you're making it, make sure you've got them at even spaces through your interval. When you get to the bottom, make sure you go through the first loop that you initially made and just continue going through them and just go all the way around. It's a very similar motion. Don't think too far in advance, just focus on the little loop you are doing now and it should all come together well. Take your time, you can always start over and just make sure your string is very strong so it doesn't snap because the smallest error in the string could cause it to snap and that would unravel the entire web. So just make sure the entire web is a very strong material. Lovelies, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up for this video. I really enjoy making these videos for you and I really hope to make more. So now I'm just going to take the string and cut it about that long and then I'm just going to make sure that I've got a double knot on the end and I've just done three on top of each other. You only need about two knots but I've done three just to make sure that it's secure. So I'm just taking it through and just pulling it tight just like a normal loop you've been doing all this time and just make sure it's nice and tight. This should secure the end of it and it shouldn't unravel, which is really good. Then you can just cut it short when you think it's secure. And I'm just gonna put a little dot of glue onto it and then just be careful because the hot glue gun is really hot and I'm just gonna roll it with my fingers. Please be careful at this pot. I wouldn't recommend doing it, but I'm just used to doing this and I know what my fingers can take. So I like to roll it so it's just nice and neat, but yeah, just be careful with the glue gun and you guys should be sweet. So I hope you guys like how it's coming out. I'm going to do the other sides now. I'm going to focus on the other three and I'm going to time lapse them really quick. So here we go. While you guys watch this, I'm just going to read you guys one of the legends behind the Dreamcatcher. There are many different legends, so here's just one of them. In the legend of the Dreamcatcher, a Native American elder from the Cherokee tribe saved a spider from certain death and to repay her in kindness he spun her a beautiful web with a promise that the web would catch nightmares and only let peaceful dreams through. This legend holds deep and important messages of unity and compassion. The grandmother saved the life of the spider out of universal love, compassion and understanding that all creatures are interconnectedly dependent on one another in ways that the modern world is only coming to terms with now. Also guys, if you have any questions, you can just mention them in the comments down below. I will get back to you guys as best as I can. So now we're going to go on and add the tassels. I'm just using this velvet yarn and just going to fold it in half to the length I want. All you're going to have to do is create a loop and then push it around the base of the Dreamcatcher. Then you're going to pull it through and then you're going to take the two ends and pull it through the loop and just pull it tight and then it should be nice and secure. It shouldn't be going anywhere and you should be perfectly fine with that for the tassels. So I'm just going to repeat that step so you guys can see. So I folded it in half and then I'm just pulling the tail through the loop. 
So I'm just going to continue doing this all across the Dreamcatcher. You guys can add on as many or as little of the tassels as you would like. I'm going to add on quite a few. It's completely up to you how many you want to add. But yeah, you guys have a lot of freedom of choice. You guys can add on any different colour. Also in Native American culture, each colour would represent something very different and has a very specific meaning. For example, the colour blue represents the quest of freedom and represents the ocean, sky and space. So really put a lot of thought into what you're doing and put a lot of intention into what you actually want to make and what it actually symbolises for your life because it's so important to have a nice reminder in your life of what's going on. So I'm just going to attach the feathers by just tying a knot around the tassel and around the feather. It's just a basic double knot. I'm sure you guys won't struggle with that. And I'm just going to cut the top of the stalk shorter and I've just attached feathers wherever I wanted to. The video is getting a bit long so I just attached them for you guys but this bit's really simple. I think you guys won't have any problems doing that. I was thinking of putting this sparkly crystal orb in the middle like a sun catcher but I actually decided against it but you guys can go ahead and attach it and this is how it's come out. I think it's kind of cool like you can change the crystal at the base if you want to like you can change it weekly maybe just don't glue it down. I hope you guys enjoyed this video please check out my channel I've got other tutorial videos for you guys and I hope you guys have a lovely week. Bye!